I heard you pronounce her name Maria Tomain. Yeah, that's what I call her. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Tomain, Tomain, I don't care. Oh, yes. And we're back. Oh, we're back. <laughs> so uh, now is you, Patty, I believe. Yes. <laughs> it's funny. I, I chose Crazy Stupid Love. This is a very light. It is funny. A light, <laughs> easygoing movie and... All of a sudden, they all said it was a romantic comedy, which I hate. But the way <laughs> they did funny. romantic comedy in this movie, I liked because it was so jilted. Okay, Miss Patty. Your okay, crazy, stupid love. So it's 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 a couple of stories that, of course, which is my favorite, that all come to, together at the end. Uh, Steve Carroll, Carell, sorry, <laughs> Julianne Moore, Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, Maria Tomain, and. Steve Carell is a man who is just newly separated from his wife, Julianne Moore, because she has screwed around on him. And he goes and sits in a bar. And as people do when they drink, because his <laughs> bartenders, Not that we would they know. keep going over the yeah. same thing louder and louder <laughs> each time about how his wife did him wrong. Ryan Gosling, on the other hand, is a really... A great player. He dresses right. He looks right. He's got the moves. And he takes pity. He's got Steve the moves Carell. like Jagger. <laughs> yeah. he, he takes pity on Steve Carell. And he's so incredibly blunt with him to make him change. And what he's going to do is do do over. Do a do over. A makeover. A makeover. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Cadell, no, I've never had one. I don't even remember the word. <laughs> I so, wish I had him in my life. Yeah, That'd me be too. Great. I kept saying. Where is Ryan Gosling when I need yeah, him? Yeah, exactly. Okay, Emma Stone is a pre-law student who's with this really boring Josh Groban uh, who goes to like what would be equal to, what's a? Law firm? El Cholo, not El Cholo. Yeah, El Cholo That's yeah, too yeah. exotic for them. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh like Acapulco. Like that's, Acapulco, yeah, those, if you remember those. those. Yes. <laughs> and uh, El Cholo is a No, what's the Italian song? one? Yeah. That's an Italian one. Everybody goes, Olive Garden. Yeah, Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Tell her this special thing is good. Yeah. For sponsors. She like Olive Garden. And the little boy, the son of Steve Carell, is... In love with his babysitter. Oh, he's fantastic. He was that great. Jonah yes. He was great. Bolo, yeah. Bobo. Yeah. And the babysitter is also in love with somebody. Oh, she was great too. So as this goes on, it's mostly about Steve Carell learning how to be different. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll go on without his wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he becomes really smooth and sharp. And then they all come together unknowingly because he's trying to win back his wife's. And all of a sudden, don't tell you that. Don't that is the best spoiler part of the movie. <laughs> spoiler. Okay, spoiler. Okay, so they all come together at the end of the movie, okay. and it all works out in a nice way. Now, this movie is not deep; it has no hidden message, but it's light and fruity. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, you know it's funny because. Uh, I, I, this is the kind of movie I call a sitcom movie. It reminds me of the things you sort of see on TV. Yeah. The thing that makes it better, of course, is one, the caliber of the cast. Because yeah. again, another thing. Unbelievable. I, yeah. I yeah. think a lot of people in this movie were very <clears throat> good. Me too. You know, I really thought they were doing exactly. And I'm not a big Julianne Moore fan, but I actually found her likable in this. Right. And I thought, oh, great. Finally, Emma Stone has somebody who does look like her and could I could believe her as the mother. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I, I think the cast is all good. I, I do think Marissa Tamai actually really stands out. And yeah. She has a very small supporting role, but I thought I really liked her in it. Me too. Um, but yeah, the performances. But I will say this. I thought it was the male performances that stand out. I thought Steve Carell and Ryan Gosling were very good and solid in it. And including, like you didn't mention... The great Kevin Bacon, who has a little role in yeah. this, right? It's such a little role. It is so tiny, but it's the fact that he shows up, and he's a very important character in this, right? But a little character. Yes. <laughs> but my problem was, it's like, you know what? I was really hoping that it was going to be like, it starts off like a screwball comedy. I mean, you saw yeah. the opening, right? He jumps out of the car because he does not want to listen to his wife anymore. 
I thought the wackiness or screwball would continue, but it doesn't. It actually takes it very seriously, and you see them go out to certain ways. It isn't until, like you were saying about the co- climax with everyone together, that it becomes a, that's like typical of a screwball right. comedy, right? Just right. builds to that climax. And I have to admit, I thought it was the ending that sort of like puts a little bit of heart into it. Because oh, yeah. I didn't really, I thought it was sort of a very kind of like, oh, okay, I'm not really into this, but you know, it's entertaining me. Like I said today, all this whole thing from beginning to end, it's like, okay, I was going with everything because you are seeing some growth of character with certain people. Right. Uh, I always, I don't know why, I, I, the trailer made me not want to see this movie. The so that's why I didn't so see it. Exactly. But even like Emma Stone, I, I really like Emma Stone a lot. And I thought, yeah, but even she was, really hardly in it and did hardly anything to me personally. So that's why I said, I'll give it to the male characters, even like John Carroll Lynch. I thought (laughs) uh, his character, I thought, you know, good for him, you know, being the father in this, but the dilemma, the women in it seemed to be like nothing at all. Like they were sort of stupid. Love was about the two men. (laughs) Yeah. I'll say. Well, that was the whole thing. That's why I thought, that's why I think Marissa Tamay's character stands out so much, you know, I, that's all I can just say of that. But, you know, I, I thought it was entertaining enough and I liked it and I watched the whole thing without falling asleep. So that's always so a good sign. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this bromance <laughs> <laughs> yeah. movie. The, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a, well, actually, I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I love all the characters, all the, you know, Marisa Tomei was great in it. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, there's, a, there's a one scene that, which is, see, the spoilers too, so I really can't say <laughs> when they go to, uh, you know, the kid curses a lot, so they go to the school to talk to the teacher. Right. So that's a, that's a really funny scene. The uh, I'm a big fan of Emma uh, Stone, too, and, and Ryan Gosling. I, I really, I'm going to be one of the few people who, people who really love La La Land. Oh, <laughs> I thought God, the relationship. I thought, oh, the relationship, I, La La I, thought I, they, they, I thought they have great chemistry together. And uh, maybe that's why they got cast together to do La La Land because of this film. Actually, that was sort of surprising, too, because you're right. I thought they had more chemistry in this movie me than too. they did in La La Land. Mm. Yeah, me uh, too. So maybe because I was a little more serious and more, a little heavier. But uh, so, yeah, we really enjoyed that. The, uh, what was I say? Uh, did I write something here? <laughs> uh, the, this, you know, certain things like that. There was a one speech that's at the, uh, you know, like every, those kind of movies always have some big speech at the end. I thought it was a little cheesy. Yeah. That which they took me back to some of those cheesy 80 movies. The uh, I really like Kevin Bacon. To me, Kevin Bacon can play a really sleazy, a snake yeah. salesman, but also a nice guy too. Yeah. So he you can play that. anything. So you right? really he's can tell where he's character. coming from. Yeah. Because he's got that little smile that you know if he's, yeah. does that mean well or does that mean yeah. uh, he's doing something? <laughs> well, he looks 12 years old. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to a different movie. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed the movie. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you apologized for not liking my movie. Uh, this was garbage. By the way, uh, I hated your movie. Okay. I, I hated this movie. Yeah. Um, I have to, I want to make Are you sure. I, I, I heard. <laughs> yeah, I missed a ceremony and all that. I want to some things on fire, especially with that. I as much as I hated it. I, just, I had that question is because yeah. what I heard. I heard you pronounce her name Maria Tomain. Yeah, that's what I call her. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Tomain, well, Tomain, I don't care. Whatever the case, she was the only decent thing in this movie. She was great in this movie. She I was terrific that. in this movie, and I, I would like to see a movie about that character. That but I would like to see movie. that movie that didn't include any other character <laughs> from this movie in it, because this was an abomination. <laughs> this was women are commodities. I can see why Ryan Gosling you know, ha- has a certain presence that has made him a star, although I, he usually eludes me, but I could see what he was doing here, but I didn't believe the You character. didn't like the bromance? What bromance? It was just garbage. It was junk. This was more of a horror movie than In the Mouth of Madness to me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats In the Mouth of Madness. Okay? That's right. Uh, but what I'm saying is, Time out. didn't you like Time out, people. I don't want to. It's his turn. Why should we? It's his turn, my friend. For having fun. Uh, no, Go well, ahead. This is part of my turn. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to get that riled up. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, no, I just was, I, I, I kind of wanted to like this movie. I said, I, did I ever see this? I, I'm, I'm still not sure after having watched it if I had seen it before. Oh. But by the time they got to the so-called screwball scene where, oh, you're that, you you. Blow, I said, this is the phoniest scene I've ever seen in my life. I hate it. 
It's not funny. Nothing in this movie is funny. The people are just ugly characters. The men treat women like trash. I couldn't stand anything about this movie. It was horrible. <laughs> I have done my job then. <laughs> God bless you, Is it my turn? Yes. yes. Right. Okay. So, um, okay, you know, I'm not a big rom-com fan, but uh, this is the most, it's, it's a rom-com with the best actors In ever. The world. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, okay, let's see. Steve Carell, Emma Stone, uh, Julianne Moore, uh, Marissa Tomei, Ryan Gosling, and the little boy Jonah uh, Bobo, I thought was the fan. best. He was Wasn't he the best? Yeah, he was There's also great. the the um, the babysitter that I don't know her name, but I've seen her many times in yes. movies. I, uh, I, I guess like that's her Leo Tipton. What's her name? Leo Tipton. She played Jessica, right? Leo? Yes. Jessica, yes. yes. Yeah, well, L I O. Yes. Oh. Kevin Bacon, I can't tell you the people in this movie are amazing. Yeah. Even those small characters. Even Leo Tipton's father, he's a known actor. Uh, yes, too. yes. Well, that John was the John Carroll Lynch, Lynch I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. father. The John Carroll Lynch person I mentioned. Shut up. That's yeah. your father? Well, okay, in the movie, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Story sorry. is pretty funny. And I wasn't expecting how, okay. I wasn't expecting the ending. The ending took it from, uh, Okay, an okay, cute rom com right. to wow, this is pretty good to me. Right. It was like, wow, that took it from an ordinary rom com to an exceptional rom com because they had me, they got me. I did not, I did not expect the ending. And that was kind of, um, that made it really good to me. So, um, I think it's a really good movie. I think you'll really like it. It's a movie that the whole family can watch, um, which is always good. And um, I, I, it's very, very enjoyable, and I liked it. It's yeah. just a great rumpy pump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a rumpy pump. Well, it's, 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 very, it's very funny it. you mentioned about the ending, because I had to admit that that's not the ending I would have liked. <laughs> Yeah, I would have actually I liked another it. ending because I thought, OK, we're going back to, like I said, about the almost predictable kind of aspect. Uh, but I will say this. The I one, love that ending. I love the, the, the ending. One, I was not expecting it. The one it. thing that I think you're right, though, Pat, oh. Patty, is like if you didn't see it as a romantic comedy, because one thing I forgot to mention, too, it is a story about parenting as well. And yeah. so that's and I think that's the aspect you're talking about, right, is at the very end. So, yeah, I'll it, give you it that. just totally took me by surprise. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, like the, I see dead people. But it also yeah. reminded me. <laughs> it was like it just totally that took, took me you by, by surprise. Uh, I yeah. see dead people. Mm -hmm. Tell yes. me you gave it more than the a five. Just, no, I gave it a five. Somebody <laughs> shoots him. But and then the kid says, I see dead people. And you're supposed to be surprised that he's dead? I'm totally surprised that I he's totally dead. I totally didn't get that at all. No, me neither. Wow. Well, spoilers. I was shocked. Yeah, it was like... It, it was Don't like get me this. started on a beautiful mind then. It, it was... Uh, oh, so... I, I gave it a five. <laughs> I enjoyed this movie. I, I give it a seven. Oh, yeah, right. I give it a nine. I like I that. give it a nine, too. Wow. Mm-hmm. I, I really enjoyed Small it. And you know, I hate rom-coms. I know. <laughs> Smooth operator. We'll be right back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Smooth operator. <laughs>